Bro, she left you. She left you, now you're left with your feelings. You're left to feel how you feel right now. You're left to feel sad, angry, depressed, mad. You're left to feel the adversity that is coming out of that relationship because you're heartbroken. Now you're gonna hit up the boys saying, yo, I need help right now. The boy's gonna say, let's go ahead and rebound, hit the club, let's do some drugs, let's drink alcohol, let's do it every single night. You're gonna get involved in that lifestyle because it's all you know is all you know what to do, is all you know how to act, is the only thing you have in terms of an avenue to escape the pain and suffering you feel right now. And that's what you're gonna dive deep into. And that's gonna be your life. <laughs> Listen, there's two things you can do, only two. There's two options here, right? When you go through things like this, someone taking advantage of you, someone taking a chance against you, someone that's leaving you, not because of you, not because of your actions, but because they want to say, I'm not ready. Because they want to say, I have things to do, I'm working too hard. Because of something that they want to bring, not you. You're ready, you're here, you're, intent you're intentional. You have everything you need in order to feed this and get into this, but them. You're gonna be left high and dry. And now you wanna take away the pain. Anything you can do, anything you can identify, anything that you can drown yourself in and take away the pain, you're gonna go ahead and do that because that's the only thing you know how to do. There's two options, two. Number one, the first option I described, get into the drugs and get into the partying, get into the alcohol, get into the rebounds, get into all the things you don't need to be doing to improve yourself. That's gonna go nowhere. It's gonna go nowhere, you'll become nothing, you're gonna feel how you feel for the rest of your life because you just can't get over it. There's option number two. Option number two, only 1% of people will take this option. A very small group of people will understand what just happened to them and they're going to identify an opportunity. Option number two, you feel how you feel. You allow yourself to go through the feelings no matter how sad, angry, depressed, mad, whatever. I don't care, all of it. Whatever it is you're feeling, you sit there. You allow yourself to feel it, cry, I don't care, do whatever you need to do. Feel it, but do not fall. Allow yourself to build those feelings. And of that, as a man, our job is to find solutions to problems. Our job is to problem solve these things that are annoying and frustrating in our life. You're gonna feel the frustration, you're gonna feel the anger, you're gonna feel the pain, you're gonna feel the resentment. That's gonna build and grow and grow. And you're gonna become a version of yourself that you may not recognize, but when you feel that, when you are in your emotions, and when that is very real for you, and if you are the person of the 1% that understands what just happened to you, you also understand that this is a moment for growth, opportunity to improve and to be better and to evolve. You do that by a couple things, right? You're gonna wanna hit the gym because you're angry, mad, and you're so aggressive, you need to get the aggression out somewhere by doing something. You're gonna go to the gym and train really hard. You should go to the gym and train really hard. You're gonna feel good about yourself. You're gonna get into a mindset of protection. You want to protect how you feel. You wanna protect you. You wanna make sure that no one else can ever do this to you ever again. That's a very difficult thing, but you're gonna make sure that you can identify what just happened. How lesser of a man am I for someone to leave me to be sad here now with my feelings. Never gonna happen again. We're gonna improve. We're gonna train really hard. Have to train really hard. Work super, super hard on our money. Gotta get that up. Get things that you want in your life to become the ultimate version of yourself. You need to go from being undesirable to undeniable. And you do not become undeniable by sitting here crying, doing nothing at all. You can cry. Crying is fine. There's nothing wrong with crying some tears of pain. But don't sit there for too long crying and pondering on how you feel. Don't sit there for too long in this pit of depression and sadness and anxiety and just anxiousness of, will she come back around and who's gonna be the next one and I gotta find something. Don't do that. Don't do that for too long. You can feel it a little bit. You need to at some point eventually pick yourself back up. You need to at some point eventually work and start the journey of becoming undeniable. You do that by filling the holes in your life, the physique, the mind, the money, your intent, being direct, all of it. It has to be done. You have to be so consistent with yourself, with your discipline, what you have going on and what you wanna do, that you need to be unbreakable. And you only acquire that mindset. You only identify that that is the path unless you allow yourself to feel the pressure unless you allow yourself to feel the pain. Don't numb the pain by shit, drinking and like, we, we don't do that. We don't do that. We don't numb nothing. You're gonna feel sad. 
and you're going to allow yourself to feel sad. And in your moment of feeling sad, you're going to start to think and figure out levels of improvement in yourself that you didn't even know you had in you. You're going to have a level of productivity that is unmatched. You're going to have ways about yourself that you didn't even know existed. You're becoming versions of yourself that you need to be in order to be ultimate. Don't shy away from the experience. Do not shy away from how you feel. Do not shy away from the pain. Pain is necessary. Adversity is necessary. Trauma, turmoil, it grows you up. It matures you. It allows you to think different, move different, dress different, see different. It allows you to handle the world better. Because unfortunately, there's a lot more pain in the world than peace. There's a lot more difficulty and struggle that exists out there than any level of joy or happiness, but you can change that. You change that by understanding that that is very much what the world is. And if I can find a way to love myself, if I can find a way to improve and cause a gap so large away from where I was versus to where I want to be. This is going to be such a large distance. Nobody's going to move you backwards. Nobody's going to give you any regression backwards because you did that journey by yourself. You made the choice to go that path by yourself. Physical improvement, mental improvement, money improvement, all of it. You hate your job, you got motivation. You don't like how you look, you got motivation. You are poor, you got motivation, bro, hustle. Hustle. The worst thing you can do is sit there and stay seated. It's the worst thing you can do. There's going to be a moment in this process of how you feel that you have to get up and you have to go. Start with a walk. Get up out of your house, go outside, touch grass. Every single day, touch grass, lie on it, Swim around in it, I don't care. Sleep in it, sit in it, read a book in it, watch TV in it, go and touch grass, bro. Touch it, eat it, I don't care. Get the grass, bring it to your house. Have grass plants everywhere. Once you have the grass, you are surrounding yourself with motion and activity. That's a start. You're breaking a sweat, you're getting involved, you're doing things, you're just going, and you're feeling, and you're allowing yourself to be fueled by what you just went through. And this is very much true for a lot of things in life. This is very much true for death. This is very much true for many things. This world is way too difficult. And this world has way too much adversity to experience. To fall and stay fallen for too long. You are allowed to fall. You are allowed to feel how you feel. You're allowed to be in pain. You're allowed to feel all this. You're allowed. Feel it. Be about it. It's fine. Just understand, time is going and life is progressing and nobody or no thing or no opportunity is going to wait for you. And if you do care about your existence, if you do care about life, if you do care about progression, then you're going to realize that I have to get myself up from this pit that I was forced into. You got to get up, bro. You have to get up. You got to get up. You need to get up. You have to progress. Out of that progression, you will become who you need to be. But you never become who you need to be if you shy away from the experience and from the journey. She wants to leave you? Let her go. Bye. Go. Deep down, you're in pain, but you're not going to show it. You're not going to show it. You're going to show it to yourself in silence. You might have one of your boys, one or two boys. They can see it. Other than that, you're going to feel that. Feel it. Go. Get out of here. Leave. That's what you want. I'm going to evolve. I'm going to grow. I am going to be so direct and sharp. My mind will be the sharpest knife in existence. If I could manifest my thoughts, it will cut through concrete. The intent of my life is so severe that people are going to, people are going to think I'm crazy. People are going to think I am going insane in real time. Let them think that. Let them think that. Because you know what you're doing inside. You understand very clearly with whatever language you speak, English, Arabic, I don't care. Whatever that is in your head that you're speaking or whatever, you understand very clearly, crystal. 
and now we're gonna move and now we're going to go and now is the time to become undeniable undesirable to undeniable and once you are undeniable you then work on the next step which is becoming undisputed undisputed it is going to be an undisputable fact that I am the ultimate version of myself. It's gonna be an undisputable fact that I have gone through the pain and suffering and I did not shy away from how I feel in order to get to where I wanna be. It's an undisputable fact that this is the greatest physique I've ever had in my life. All of it is going to be undisputed. You cannot talk to me. You cannot slander the facts. Can't do that. You gotta do it, bro. Get it done. Get up. Feel it, but get up. Touch grass, bring it in the house, I don't care. Do it, bro. Let's go. Socials down below. Instagram for the fitness stuff down below. TikTok for random stuff down below. Follow it. All of it. Everything. All of it. Peace out, guys. Be safe. We out here.